Beloveds, it is particularly important to be open for every facet of this divine process as well as being aware that everything is well. You have to surrender in full acceptance to let the process work itself out. You have to dare to let go, especially the thinking patterns and the mind, otherwise you might obstruct the flow which can cause some sort of discomfort. The light workers who are present on earth to ground those energies and who function as a channel during this process, might expect the most intense energies in order to pass them on to the collective of humanity and to Mother Earth. They are the carriers of the new energies, and that is their mission. For them it is of utmost importance that they open themselves up for these energies and that they accept them, that's what they have to work at and to focus on. Those of you that are here to free the way, the so-called way showers amongst you, will take the first hard energetic blows that will dash this duality to smithereens. They have to be extremely balanced and exhibiting inner peace, otherwise it might become a difficult challenge. They are here on earth to free the way out of this duality which often involves the grounding of these changeable energies. So, in a nutshell, they are not just a channel for these energies but in certain cases also the executor. The gatekeepers amongst you are those that go through tough times because they not only linger in these frequencies but often are present with their physical aspect in the higher worlds as well as in this duality simultaneously. They travel back and forth constantly, whether conscious or not, to bring everything to this earth plane, to ground it but also to shift those energies. They supervise where and through who those higher frequencies can be implemented and they also assist during the ascension processes of others on earth who are going through difficult transformations. They represent the multidimensional aspects and the proverbial centipede dwelling on earth to work on the higher frequencies, and are often very exhausted because of this multidimensional work. For them it is very important to get plenty of rest, to ground and to meditate on a regular basis in order to maintain a constant balance and frequency which will facilitate and advance their work. Everyone contributes one way or the other to the process of ascension, but now everything will get stepped up a few notches, intensifying it all and possibly becoming rather unbearable if you are not standing firmly in your shoes or if you haven't reached an inner balance as a result of the mergings with your higher self and with the Christ consciousness. The stepping up is due to the fact that Gaia's frequency vibrates for quite some time already in a higher consciousness whereby everything contains a more refined energy to which duality and the material world can no longer resonate. This duality, this material world will literally fade away and merge with the new higher frequencies because it will abolish into energy, higher frequency. That's why it is important to grow along in this process and to prepare your bodies for the merging with the new etheric frequency as your physical bodies will no longer take on materialistic forms when you arrive at the end of this ride. So being balanced and having an inner connection is very important, for you will continue to grow more and more into this new crystalline body and you will go through the alchemical process of the disintegration of the materialistic into the more etheric level, representing the pure essence of your being. Etheric does not always mean pure energetic but also refers to the inner reflection in your environment and in your reality. This inner reflection is a frequency and a mindless world without ego or thoughts, where everything just is. The human brain wants to understand everything and wants to delineate it with words. Well then, this will happen less and less because you are just going to be more and more, and nothing else, a constant flow in the now without any thoughts nor questions. In its place comes the inner knowing, the acceptance and the being, and this in a constant state. This is enjoyment and bliss, for without thoughts there are no more words, there is no more separation, no more pain, no more worries, and especially no more fearful battles, no anger nor duality. You are approaching the massive final conclusion and final shifts beginning with your physical body as this is the center of your universe and everything departs from here and becomes your reality.